10 4. If anybody can get close to him. That's new video ABC 13 obtained from a 2021 police chase of a man on horseback through downtown Lynchburg. It all ended with the man being run over by a police car. That man filed a lawsuit in April against two Lynchburg police officers involved in that pursuit. ABC 13's Mia Nelson breaks down what led up to that moment. According to the lawsuit, the man on horseback, Steve Rucker, claims that officers Zachary Miller and Michael Johnson are responsible for gross negligence. Rucker also accuses Officer Miller of excessive force in violation of his 4th and 14th Amendment rights and accuses him of battery. He is seeking more than $5 million in damages. Take a look at this video again. Here you can see police following Steve Rucker. Then Rucker falls off his horse. Seconds later, you see a police car run over him. We have stopped the video right before that. According to the lawsuit, this was the last of a string of events that unfolded. Before he was run over, the lawsuit claims Officer Miller tased him without justification. The documents say LPD officers were going after Rucker to serve him with a permitted warrant for an alleged protective order violation. But the video shows he kept writing. As for how he got run over, a short time later, the lawsuit says Officer Johnson arrived on the scene and left his patrol car to chase Rucker on foot. But it was left in drive and ran into a wall. When he got back inside, the lawsuit claims he turned the car and hit the gas, running over Rucker. Rucker's attorney, Mark Dix, tells me these kinds of papers could have been served any time. He was not wanted for a crime. He just needed to be served with process. And the level of response from the Lynchburg police officers on this evening was grossly disproportionate to the need to communicate and stop Mr. Rucker. The officer's attorney, Jim Gwynn, was not available for an interview, but did provide a statement. He said in part, in short, we deny that our officers are liable to Mr. Rucker for any reason. As a general response, it is our position that our officers acted reasonably in their response to an apparently intoxicated person riding a horse on the streets of downtown Lynchburg. Officer Miller did file a motion to dismiss the lawsuit, but the judge denied the motion. Gwynn tells me the judge was only allowed to consider the allegations made by Mr. Rucker, and they were not able to submit facts for the court's consideration. To read the written responses from the two officers filed in court, head to our website, WSCT.com. The trial is set for next April. Back to you. Thanks for watching the ABC 13 YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos and live coverage and local stories, Click to subscribe and download our ABC 13 News app.